The United States Department of Health and Human Services has been on a mission to empower patients with seamless access to their healthcare records since 2009. This was the year when EHR systems rendered paper-based healthcare records obsolete. The need for interoperability in healthcare technology as we know it today soon followed the introduction of EHR systems. More than a decade later, the interoperability of EHR systems is set to be driven by USCDI, the United States Core Data for Interoperability. In its basic form, the USCDI is an aggregation of standard clinical data elements that all HIT vendors are now required to conform to. It represents the most granular level at which a piece of patient data is exchanged by HIT systems. The ONC's goal with USCDI is to implement a common template for the digitization of clinical data. As all HIT vendors begin to implement this common standard, it unlocks two strategic advantages for them. It makes the integration with third-party healthcare applications easy, vastly improving the marketability of the HIT vendor's product. And it unlocks new possibilities to improve the continuum of care as costs of expensive integrations, custom at times, comes down significantly with everyone in the ecosystem adopting USCDI. There is one important thing to note though. All CEHRT vendors must now conform to USCDI requirements since the release of the Cures Act final rule on May 1st, 2020 mandates it. HIT vendors, especially EHR product specialists, must now conform to these changes that are accompanied by strict deadlines. If you are an HIT vendor and watching this video, you're in the right place. Stay tuned to our feed to know what changes await you for successful compliance.